time for the bell. How many options will you sell? Fire up your platform, get ready to enter. But first, let's get the mindset centered. Hey, hey, let's go. We're not here to gamble, we're here to trade. We follow the plan, that's how we get paid. Testing, trading, have success. Find what works for you and forget the rest. Stats and probabilities is what we're about. Time to dismiss greed and doubt. Focus on the process, not the money. And the profits will flow like honey. Power our lives, let's start the show. Come on, trade hackers, get ready to go. Zero day options, time to make bank. Get locked and loaded, then be ready to plank. Hey! What's up, everyone? How's everybody doing today? Monday, January 22nd. Welcome to Power Hour Live. Good to be back. Good to be back with you all. So for Power Hour, it's looking like potentially a straddle. I'm going to go ahead and do my normal Power Hour size. S&P is up 11 and a half, NASDAQ up 25, the Russell strong up 30 over one and a half percent higher, Dow up 109, gold and silver both red, notes and bonds green, 10-year yield down over 1%, oil up 2%, natty gas down 4, grains a little bit green, euro and the pound flat, Bitcoin down 4.5%. VIX at 13.36. As far as trades today, so my AM ratio hit 50%. Uh, my one DTE is still open. It's up 28%. That'll close out at the end of today, or if it hits a 45% profit target. It's currently up about 1,900, and then my DKS hit 40%. So those were my bot trades. I also um, I put out the, uh, the video on using the NTT, the trend candles. This is kind of a different way to look at price action, and so I've been trading around those today. Um, Show you what I've done on those so far. So took my first one about 36 minutes after the market opened. And, and the way I've been trading these, I discussed this a little bit. I'm taking a third off at 20% and then letting the rest ride with a trailing stop that I ratchet down from 80 to 40. So on the first one, got out, hit 20% profit target and then got stopped out of the rest. So plus 200 on that one. Um, next one I got in at 10 20 AM. These are central time, uh, hit 20% on that one and then, uh, got stopped on the remaining. So plus 90 bucks on that one. And I'm just, I'm doing three lots here. This is just, uh, kind of still in test mode. Uh, my third one got in at 1126, uh, hit 20% and got stopped out of the remaining. So that was plus 920 on that one. And then the last one I am still in, it hit 20% to close a third. And my remaining position's up about 1,600-ish, a little over 1,500. So tranche one will come in here in about two and a half minutes. It's looking like it may go inverted here. It may go 50, 55 inverted, or it gets price gets close to a strike. Could get a straddle. Hey Cosmo, check out the Zero DTE course channel. I just posted kind of a little mini course on it this morning. So my first entry was right here. My second one was right here. And then it's been pretty choppy. So the others were in there somewhere.
All right, everybody should have had a pretty good day today. I mean, this price action had a little bit of a little bit of a jiggy dance uh, first part of the day, but it has been pretty sideways, about a 10 point range, 12 point range since uh, about 945 this morning. So good stuff for zero DTE premium sellers. No, unfortunately, I'm still in the red on that one, Morrow. My four five double calendar from Friday because I got in I got in so much earlier because I had to I was gonna be I wasn't gonna be in front of my computer. So I'm basically at a scratch right now. We get a little down move tomorrow, that'd be nice. So on Friday. You know, usually I get in at the end of the day, so that would have been perfect, right? I mean, look at this, just choppy price action, uh, obviously, in, like during power hour at the end of the day, Friday. But I got in way down here around lunchtime because I had to, because I was leaving and I wasn't going to be in front of my computer. So I took the heat of that up move, which puts me right at about break even right now. Four sevens doing good. It's up about 800 ish. My six sevens up about 800, about 9%. My three four from this morning's down about 5%. My one three and my one two from this morning are both up a couple percent. Here comes tranche number one. And it went to the, yeah, it went inverted. So 50 puts, 55 calls. 55 puts, 50 calls filled at 960. Right on, Chris. I'm right there with you. Yeah, Gonzalo, check my, um, check the, up in the uh, calendar category, there's a channel called Trade Plans. If you check that, it's it's on the uh, it's on my trade plan. I just started trading it um, a few weeks ago. I there, I don't have a video or anything on it. It's just I, I have the Option Omega backtest link. It's on my it's on my trade plan there. I should probably do a little video because it is it is a little bit different. It's a double diagonal as opposed to a uh, normal double calendar. So a lot of times you're getting in for a credit. But it's another uh, Friday, Friday entry. Yeah, the time fly... down a little bit still got some potential still a potential for profit uh v my vxx vertical doing well i took off a third of this um for about 35 percent 35 percent of max profit so i started with 20 i've got 13 left mes Strangles. No rolls needed. Just rolled the QQQ and MES puts up on Friday. So those are in good shape. Uh, took off a duck today. For beak profit. Got the Feb 7-1. That's uh, getting close to. I could I could take this one off too. Actually, now. Well, I'm not going to get five bucks. I'll wait for some more decay on that Feb Seven duck.
Uh, Kelvin, I think what I'm going to do, I've been testing this. Um, oh, that was my overnight iron condor just got filled. Just got filled on my overnight iron condor. Uh, Kelvin, what I was saying is, um, uh, let me go back here real quick. Sorry, I missed a couple. Uh, Talon, uh, the Dick Case special. You can um, watch, go to the trade plans channel here in the zero DTE category. And Mr. Dick K himself presented it, so you can learn about it there. Uh, it's also on my on my trade plan. It's a modified version, so it's not the way that um, it's not the it's not the OG Dick K special. It's the modified version, but it's on my trade plan as well. Um, Kelvin, so what what my plan is here is for the next week or so, I'm going to continue to trade um, my. January trade plan. Um, but what I'll, what I'm also implementing is, is just, you know, trading some additional zero DTE stuff around NTT. Like I described in the, I posted in the zero DTE course this morning, kind of a mini, mini course on what I'm doing there. So you can watch that. And so I haven't decided exactly what I'm going to do for February. I may eliminate some of my back tested strategies to make room for the, uh, for the new ones that I'm doing. but I haven't decided which ones or exactly how I'm going to do that. Yeah, there's a, uh, that trade plans channel talent is a gold mine. We've got a bunch of our most, you know, experienced traders in there. Um, who, who presented, you know, the way that they trade their zero DTE stuff. So it's, it's great stuff. All right. So I got filled on tranche one at nine sixty. So 575 is where I will reduce my stop for tranche one. The one thing I haven't decided yet is on this on these kind of tranching re-entry NTT trades. I haven't decided exactly how I want to manage. What I've been doing is taking a third of the position off at a 20% profit and then just trailing the and then ratcheting my stop down from 80% down to 40% and then just letting that trail. Um I haven't decided if I want to keep it doing it exactly like that. I mean there's you know, anytime you have positions on like that, it's, you know, it's, it's using mental capital. And so I haven't decided now, once, once I hit 20% and I ratchet it down, there's, I'm using the OCO order, so I don't have anything else to do. You know, I can kind of walk away at that point, but until then you're kind of watching it. And then for entries, you know, you're kind of watching the charts pretty closely so I haven't decided to what capacity I want to do that compared to my bot back tested strategies.
less trades, but similar capital deployed, Dick? Gotcha. Yeah, I think if I eliminate some of my back-tested strategies to make room for my NTT ones, I think my, well, my capital will definitely not go down. But as far as trades and the amount of time, probably go up. Elliot, you're you're gonna stop doing quiet lunch. I know a couple that I'll probably eliminate first would be my PM iron condors, the Tuesday and Tuesday Wednesday versions. Um, I'll probably eliminate those. The quiet lunches have done really well, so I don't I hate to kind of bail on those. But if I'm replacing it with my re-entry stuff then should more than make up for it, I would think. Um, so yeah, I, I don't know. I got to dig a little bit deeper on that. Tranche two looks like it'll most likely be a straddle. Still got about seven minutes, six minutes before that comes in though. Oh, really, Dick? I'm kind of, I'm, I'm more scaling that up. Chad popping 20% pH number one. Nice. So Elliot, uh, you're doing AM ratios regardless if there's an overnight VIX contraction? Okay. I definitely noticed a huge difference in profitability with a, uh, you know, if you use using the 0.25% max contraction versus not using it. That, that's one filter that I, I will definitely continue to use. All right, so tranche one's up about 6% so far. Yeah, I had looked at a uh, ten wide, uh, something similar to that. Wuga, I noticed that had had tested really well. Maybe I got it from you. Uh, 
Uh, one DTE is up about 32%, looking for 45%. Michael Todd, sounds like you're doing well with the uh, the re-entries, Chad style. Oh yeah, that makes sense, Wuga. Yeah, that would be a good one to start with, Marl. That's easily bottable. Should be, even for tap. I'm going to do a, uh, here in about 20 minutes, I'm going to do a 1-4. DTE double calendar as well. Tranche two will be coming in here in a couple minutes. Looks like the 55 straddle if we hold here. Sure everyone enjoyed the Chiefs beating up on the Bills last night. I haven't heard any congratulations yet, so I figured I'd congratulate myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a good game. On top of the mountain must be from Buffalo. Seattle. You just, you're just a Chiefs hater? What's going on? Ah, uh, yeah, that's that's rough data junkie. They sure put a beat down on the Cowboys, though. Tranche two should be coming in. Filled at 610 on the 50 straddle. 50 straddle filled at 610. Yeah, that was a uh, that was a brutal. That is a brutal one when that happens. I mean, I I don't disagree with it, but it it is a brutal one. Still trying to figure out why we give the ball to McCole Hardman to begin with, but that's another story.
Uh, yeah, the, yeah, the one four has has struggled. It basically had, it basically had one big loss. If you look, Dick, um, November twelfth was a monster loser. If you take that out, which I know you can't take it out, but um, you know, right there, that big loss. Uh, otherwise, you know, it's done, it's done fairly well. I'm going to, uh, I got to use the restroom real quick. I will be back in two minutes. All right. That uh, looks like somebody's coming in on the Zoom chat. Hey, Thomas, do me a favor. Uh, all the messages and posts are in the Zero Live chat channel in Discord. Uh, but to answer your question, um, yeah, target Tranche 2 is targeting $3. That's correct. So closest to 3 bucks was the 50 straddle. Tranche one's up about 11 and a half percent. Yeah, Thomas, it's the Zero Live chat channel. You'll see it when you're in Discord. You'll see all the all the chatter going on. That's where we keep it during the live streams. Welcome, by the way, if you're new, I assume. That was hard work, Kelvin. It was a lot of hard work. Vacations are difficult for me. That was fun. A lot of hiking, a lot of eating. So two things I like to do.
I was in uh, I was in California, Southern California. Stayed at uh, T Terranea Resort, which is Ranchos Palos Verdes, I believe. And then a uh, little time in Newport Beach. A little time we hiked up to the uh, the Hollywood sign. That's a good. That's actually actually a good hike. Oh, you're in Irvine, Cal Kelvin? Yeah, we were right there. Went through Santa Monica. <laughs> Yeah, I gotta I gotta crawl before I walk tomorrow. My last re entry is doing good. It's up about twenty one hundred. S&P in the midst of a little bounce, a few points. So charge two, I got in at 610. So 365, I will reduce my stop on tranche two. Yeah, I actually traded power hour from my phone via my bots hiking up to the Hollywood sign Friday. I was only able to get tranche one and tranche two because then I I lost service for a little while. And then it, once we got up a little higher, it came back. Started to get a little nervous. I ran up, actually, I ran up. I had to get higher so my service would come in. All right, so my one four I'll be putting on here shortly. I have to adjust my delta slightly on this one four because of other positions, but between 20 and 25. I'll wait another few minutes. So my last re-entry tranche is trading at 540. My stop's at 670. Tranche three is coming in. Filled at 420. 
And that was on the 50 puts, 55 calls. Forty-eight fifty is my sweet spot. Somewhere between fifty and fifty-five, preferably closer to fifty. Got filled on my one four. And just posted my one four in the calendar channel. Uh, PSD, uh, if you look at my screen here, I've got the, the calendar up. So tomorrow, there's basically no news. I mean, there's the Richmond Manufacturing Index 30 minutes after the market um, opens. But other than that, there's really nothing going on. So having my short, I'd rather have my shorts there than I would on Wednesday, which would be the two day, two DTE, which has... Flash manufacturing PMI, flash services PMI, which, you know, most likely those aren't a huge deal either, but I'd rather have my shorts on the one day rather than the two day. Which is why I also did a one, two and a one, three. SPX pushing up. My last re-entry is about to get smoked out, stopped out. Six ninety-five. Man, SPX is pushing. Tranche two is the closest to getting stopped. It's trading at about eight bucks. My stop on tranche two is nine ten. Tranche one is still green. Tranche three is a ways away. But this thing needs to simmer down. Simmer down. My one DTE iron condor is at 35%. That one may hit 45% before it closes it out at the end of the day. All right, so my final tally on um, my re-entries. So plus 200, plus 90, plus 920, and plus 2,120. So what is that? Three, about 30, 3,300.
483 million sell side first early indication. So tranche one and three are at the 50, 55s. Tranche two is at the 50 straddle. So that one's taking the most heat. And still pushing up. Had a nice juicy ribeye steak for lunch today. I know you guys are always interested in my my lunch, my meal plan. Just cooked indoor. Too cold for the Blackstone. It is icy out. I, uh, on my way into the office this morning, I, when I was pulling up to my building, I was going, there's kind of a, a hill that goes down right in front of my building before I pull around into my parking garage. And I started going down it. And, uh, when I was in my truck, four wheel drive, but this thing was just a pure sheet of ice. And I just <laughs> started, I just, Barely pressed on the brakes, but I started just kind of, I was getting no traction and stopping. Luckily, as I drifted through the stop sign, nobody was coming. So that could have been, could have been ugly. All right. Trading at 56, I prefer something under 55, between 50 and 55, closer to 50.
do have a, uh, a TGIF as well that I added a diagonal to last week. Sitting in range, but need a, would love some volatility expansion. Would kill for some volatility expansion. SPX popping back up. Crunch twos trading at seven fifty stops at nine ten. Tranche one still up about ten percent. Tranche threes are at a little bit green, five percent higher. New all-time high today, my friends, 48.68. How high can we go? NASDAQ, new all-time high today of 17,450. Dow Jones, all-time high, 381.09. And the little rut, I'm having a big day, but nowhere close to all time highs. Seriously, can we get some profit taking? Does anyone want to take profits? There you go. Push back down under 55. Oh, thank you, Ron. It was a good game. It's just amazing. Patrick Mahomes has never not played in the AFC Championship game since he's been a starter. That's just insane. Ron, you're a Broncos guy. Is that right? Am I remembering that correctly? Yeah. Well, you guys beat us down for years, so <laughs> it's our time. 45 years, wow. Well. Yeah, there was, there was a period where we could not beat John Elway. Not until Joe Montana came to town. Still 483 million sell side.
This was my favorite thing at the end of the game. Hang on one second here. I just snapped a pic of this on from my TV. <laughs> Bills fans crying in the stands. <laughs> Sorry, Bills fans. There's any here. But that was funny. All right, so tranche one is up about 18%. I'm looking for 40% to reduce my stop. Tranche two is down 5%. Tranche three is up about 18. My one DTE iron condor will close at Yeah, a few minutes before the bell. Or if it hits 45%. It's currently at... It's currently at uh, 36%. I don't think it's going to get there. All right, getting a little, a few little red bars coming in. Nothing crazy. Just pause, pause, pause. Doesn't that piss you off, Uga? When I mean, you get, like you got to have the ding. You got to have the chime. All right, tranche three up about 30%. Tranche one up 25. Tranche two back in the green up 16. That's when you leave your computer on and you mute your business phone. <laughs> I'm in power hour. I'll call you back. You just need to have like an auto, auto response that says that. Currently participating in Power Hour, I'll have to call you back after market close. Still 483 million to the sell side. So if we do hold and bounce a little bit, I may hit 45% on my one DTE. 
or end of day. Luga's drinking on the job again. It's always the same time of day for some reason. Morrow Dick K posted a uh, a three DTE QQQ back test a while back. I don't know if you looked at that. There's the QQQ one. All right, down to 50, 51. Tranche two at 33%. Getting close to stop reduction territory. Tranche one at twenty seven percent. All right, let's keep a nice low market on close imbalance number. Anything over 3 billion, I will be trading some futures on. We'll bounce back up to 52. Final market on close number will be out shortly. One point two billion sell side. So no, no action on that one.
Tranche three up 25%, tranche two up 30%, tranche one up 28%. Still no stop reductions yet. Still looking for 40% on one or two. Tranche one or two. Getting a little bounce here up to 54. Slow down. Slow down, little buddy. Runs three up to fifty four percent. Eight minutes to go. Tranche two is a straddle. So I will be closing that one at five minutes till. Tranche one's getting close. Tranche two. I can reduce. Tranche one is getting close. Stay right above 50 here. Tronch one's at 37, 38%. I need 40, and then I'll reduce my stop on that one. My one DTE is at about 39%. There's tranche one, reduce. All right, so got stop one and two reduced. Tranche two is a straddle, so I'm going to go ahead and close that one here at five minutes till the bell. Short strikes are at 50. Price is trading pretty close to 50. Closing tranche two. Tranche two filled at 310. Nice win. So tranche one and three are both 50 55s. 
So if we can stay between 50 and 55, I'd like to get a pin. My one DTE will get, is getting ready to close. Should be coming in right now. So tranche two, I booked 49%, 3,900 bucks. One DTE closed at 825. Three minutes to go. Uh, yeah, Tom, I've got my, I do my power hour with, with trade steward. Yep. When I ratchet my stops down, I have to do that manually, but. The rest of it, the entry and all that stuff is all automated. So my one DTE, I booked 39%, which is good for 20, a little over 2,700. Tranche three is at 89%. Just got to stay between 50 and 55, my friends. Tranche one was inverted. That's why it's only showing 46%. Uh, Tom, I just started using bots uh, a couple months ago, so I'll be doing some videos on it. They have a lot of, uh, there's some, I mean, they're pretty self-explanatory. There's little pop-ups at every little feature you can change or whatever. But I, I pretty much just look at like an option omega back test and just create all the filters and criteria from that. But I will be doing some videos on on bots here shortly. I'm just, I just want to make sure I'm working through all the nuances before I start putting out some content around them. One minute to go. Stay between 50 and 55. It's creeping down towards 50. Keep your head above 50. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. I know you can do it. It's right at 50 now. Now a little bit below. Back above. It's playing with my heartstrings. 20 seconds to go. Down in the 49 handle. About 50. Five seconds. And ding, ding, ding. Closing price 48, a little above 48.50 and some change. So pin tranche one and tranche three. So good day, no losers, no zero DTE losers. That is a good day in zero DTE land. AM ratio book 3,300, one DTE book 2,700, DKS book 1,300, tranche two book 3,900, tranche one. Well, let's see what that'll end up settling at. Between tranche one and three, I'll book around a little over 5,900. 
Good day for the good kids. That's two uh, two big power hours in a row, my friends, Friday and today. All right, so let's see. Tomorrow is the 23rd. So I'll be streaming live in the morning and we'll be back for power hour. All right, all. Take care. Have a good night. Chat with you soon.